Today in human history, we're gonna talk about witch hunts. Is this gonna be funny? Nope. <laughs> Witches were humans thought to have evil powers, wear pointy hats, and fly around on cleaning supplies. A witch hunt was a needlessly violent persecution of these people. And who was considered a witch? Elderly women, poor women, disabled women, hashtag all women. Were any men targeted? Yes. Why? Because they were mistaken for women. How could they tell if people were witches? Usually the accused would have a birthmark, commonly referred to as a vagina. So what happened when a witch was caught? Any woman accused of being a witch would be put to a test. The townspeople would tie her up and throw her body into a lake. If she drowned, she was innocent. If she floated, she was guilty. So innocent women would be killed, but witches would survive and then also be killed? Bingo! Most people think that the guilty women were burned at the stake, but that's a myth. Phew. They were also hanged, drowned, exiled, tortured, and beheaded. Oh, come on. Why would people do that to women? Ah, uh, not people, Green. Men. Horrible, horrible men. Were these men? Men ever punished? Yes, they were. In the 21st century, human men were also put through what they like to call a witch hunt. Were they also persecuted for their gender? Oh, no. They were caught harassing and assaulting women. Were they hunted down and killed too? No, but the public found out and took away their films and TV shows. Well, my dad says that this 21st century witch hunt was really just a recognition that people in power couldn't get away with treating the disenfranchised as lesser, and that the loss of a few former heroes was worth it considering all the heroines we never got the chance to meet. Well, Blue, I hate to agree with your dad. So yeah, moving on! <laughs> <laughs>